Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my dashboard planner that I use for everything home related. And I'm going to be planning the week of April 18th. And for this week, I wanted to use Live Love Posh's Functionally Chic Rainbow Edit. So I want to do a rainbow theme. I don't do those often. I did do one in one of my monthly um monthly plan with me's but I wanted to do one in one of my weeklies so first off I want to do something with this box down here with the florals and the quote and then I'll leave this for my list for the week and then something over here but for now I know I want to get rid of these lines and then white these out so I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back okay so I have it all whited out and I wanted to start off with red. So let's see. So I like the this set. It's the most red and not like a holiday themed. So I think I'm going to put this one down in the corner. I'm wondering if I should try wax paper first but I feel like we're just gonna go for it today so I'm gonna place this one down in the corner okay and then put this one off to the other side and we'll go to orange Oops. Kind of like the look of this orange over here, and it's another corner piece, so I need to also make sure that I'm going to be able to fit all the colors around the square. So we need to be cautious about that. We have that so far. Let's do yellow. Okay, I think we're going to go with this one. So yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. Um. Leaning towards this one. I don't want it to take up too much space going down, so maybe we opt for this one instead. If I can get it up and off this page. Okay. Let's do yellow right here. I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and trim that off. I think for this I'm going to grab just a little piece of wax paper so it doesn't get stuck on the page. All right, perfect. Red, orange, yellow, green is next. Let's find a pretty green flower. I like this. I think this corner piece would be perfect over here. So let's go in and lay this one down. So we have that blue and then a purple. And then we need a pink. Okay. 
Let's look at pink real quick. I just want to make sure it's going to fit in here well. Maybe just a small pink flower, not like a cluster. We have that one. I think I'm just going to use this one. Okay. Move all these books off to the side. And we'll place this one right here. But first, I wanted to cut off some of these leaves from the screen sticker. I'm going to go ahead and grab this blue sticker and we're going to place it down here. Okay, so I'm going to cut off this green leaf as well. Let's see if this one will come up nicely. Okay, perfect. I just need to re white out this section. And we'll place this one down. Okay. Let me trim this one off. Perfect. So now we have a nice little outlined section that I want to put a quote in, which I don't know what quote that is yet. But I'm also going to wipe these out because I want to use them as headers. And I'm going to use this grid washi tape as a base for the headers. Okay, I really like this so far and I kind of want to finish off with the florals first and then I'll go in and add everything else. So, put this up here. And we'll go back to red. So, let's grab another of those red florals that I pulled from. It was these. I think we'll go for, um, I wanted to use this one, but I don't want the leaf to go in the same direction, so place this one right here. Okay, now let's go in and find an orange one, and I think this long one might work pretty well for what I need. So let's use this one. And I'm debating on whether or not I should be placing these down on the page, but I kind of want to make sure the spacing is good. So we'll do yellow and then we'll place that down. So it's not one huge cluster. Where's the yellow that I was using? Right here. Okay. I like this corner piece. Okay. Oh no. I bent it in on itself. Okay. I'm going to put this corner piece down first, and I'm not going to worry too much about 2022 showing through, it doesn't bother me too much. And then let's go in with this orange sticker and try and bring it over just slightly. Okay. And then 
we'll do the red. So I'm just going to put my pages together just in case it overlaps. Or I might just cut it off like I did on that side. I think I'm going to do that. So... We'll trim this off. And while I'm over here, I'm gonna punch out these holes. Okay, I have my holes punched out, so let's do green. Kinda like this one. I'm gonna pull this one up. Put this green one back in here. Okay, now we need blue. We used these ones in the front. So I think let's use this set from the top. Okay. And then we need purple. We have this purple, but for the placement of it, I think I'm going to go with a different one. So let's see, which set is that? I think it's this one. So I'm going to place this one back. And maybe we just go with... This one, but it takes up a lot of space on Sunday. Um, I like this one, but it's gonna get cut off between the blue. I think. And we'll just cut off this top stem. I'm going to put this corner piece down first so we can give that sticker some sticker surgery. So right there. Okay, now pink. I used this one and I don't know if I want to continue with that. Um, but I think I might. So let me grab just that same sticker I used. From the other set and we'll just place there right there okay so I think we are gonna be all done with the florals let me just cut this scrap off okay so here is our spread now I did pull out Mojo Jojo plans, black boxes, because I thought black would just be a good, safe alternative to using colored boxes with it because it's already so colorful. So I'm going to place this here for my headers. 
And we'll need a box down here. Let me find a decent size box. Maybe this one would be good. And place it right here. And we need quotes to quotes. Okay. So I have a line and I was trying to find a good clear quote. I kind of want a clear one so that it doesn't cover up any of the flowers in the middle. So let's see if they have any. We have this kind of one. Today goals will be crushed. That would fit in there really good. But I don't know. Let me put it off to the side. I kind of want this might have something possibly what's the other book that I think it's black and white that has the other ones Let's check out black and white. Okay. I want something that I might have to settle for something else. I have this gray box. You could layer a quote over that, but I don't know if you want to do that. Ugh, and I don't want to use gold. Okay, so I think for this box, I'm just going to use this quote right here. It doesn't have the same thing, but I guess we'll just have that in here by itself. I don't think it'd be too bad. So, forgot to white out the M from Monday, but I'll do the rest. Time is now, and then we need a box for Monday because that one is pretty covered up too. So I think I might do a square just so I have different sizes of boxes in here. I think we'll just put it right here. And then maybe one more for this side of the page. So we'll do another one of those in between size boxes. Okay, and then put this quote down. I'm gonna try and line it up with this whited out line that I have. Okay. Whew, so that is very different than what I'm accustomed to. I think it looks pretty cool though. Um, I should start doing rainbow spreads more often. They're really simple and easy to put together and they make like a 
big statement. So yeah, I think I like this. I think it'll grow on me, especially when I add some more writing in it because it feels just super empty to me in these spaces. But yeah, let me know what you think about the spread down in the comments. Please like and subscribe so you can see all my future videos. Thank y'all so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.